Do you have a dollar I could borrow? Mm. All right, bro. I'll find a dollar, don't worry. Mr. Peterson, What's up? you don't have a dollar I could borrow, do you? He might. Come on over. Hey, he's got a dollar. Mr. Jennings comes through. Here. 20s, 50s, and 100s work too. One. Thank you. I'll bring it back. I promise. Now it's time to make a prediction. What's gonna happen when that flame touches the dollar bill? Let's review the steps that you just saw me take. You saw me pour a liquid. Okay, this first one is C2H5OH, ethanol. Ethanol is a pretty common alcohol that comes from fermented grains and corn. You've probably heard this before because ethanol or ethyl alcohol is one of the key ingredients to hand sanitizer. In the last six months, we've all been applying a lot of that to kill germs and stay safe. The other ingredient that you saw was water, okay? An even more common ingredient that hopefully you come into contact with every day because it is an essential, abundant resource that we need to maintain healthy human functioning. What I did was I added these two as a 50% solution. This is 50% ethanol and 50% water. Well, there's a key difference between these two liquids. While though they look pretty similar and both clear and transparent, one of them is highly flammable. That would be the ethanol. The ethanol is flammable when it comes into contact with heat. Finally, a little background on the dollar bill. We call it paper currency, but it's really not paper at all. It's mostly cotton and linen. The reason this is done is so that it can easily absorb water and then dry out without being destroyed. I don't know if you've ever experienced this if you've accidentally left money in your pocket and you've washed and dried them and you reach in your pocket and find a crumpled dollar bill. Maybe it's a little crinkly, but it doesn't get destroyed. When I add the dollar bill into this solution, it easily soaks up all the water and the ethanol inside it. I lit it on fire, here's what happened. So the very next question that comes into our minds is, what's happening here? Why doesn't the dollar bill burn up despite the fact it's engulfed in flames? Let's review what we know. Remember I told you ethanol is flammable? Yeah, it's super flammable, but water's not. Water absorbs thermal energy. It's really good at it. That's why we use it to put out fires whenever there is a house fire or a forest fire. It absorbs the thermal energy being released in the flames and it helps decrease the temperature and put out the fire. So what it really comes down to is which of these liquids is going to win the battle. Well, I wanna show you something. The dollar bill that was just burned is still wet. So that means one of these liquids is still here. And when you saw me burning the ethanol on the table earlier, I want you to notice something very specific here. As the ethanol continues to burn off and those flames finally decrease, the table is dry. Every drop of that liquid appears to have been burned off when the ethanol is burning. But check this out. When I add our solution to the table and I do the same thing, not only are the flames not as vibrant and as powerful, but as it starts to burn off, there's plenty of liquid still left on the table. Ethanol burns at a lower temperature than water boils. The boiling point for water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, but ethanol burns at 172 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a lot cooler than the temperature water boils at. So the ethanol is getting hot enough to burn, but the water is not getting hot enough to forcibly evaporate, to boil. So we can say 
that the liquid left behind on the table is water. Well, although there might be some traces of unburned ethanol in there, most of it is water, which is why the flames extinguish. So conclusion here is this, the alcohol burns away before the water can evaporate. The dollar bill is saved because the alcohol is burning, not the dollar. Where does that energy go that's released in the flames? Some of it into the air, but a lot of it is absorbed by the water. The water warms up a little bit, takes in the energy of the flames, but doesn't quite get hot enough that evaporates, which is why George Washington here is nice and saved, just a little wet. Just so you guys know, I wanna make sure you do not try this at home, especially without adult supervision. I'm doing this in my science lab because I have all the proper safety equipment and I know what I'm doing, okay? Um, but you're free to ask me questions and if there's something that you'd like me to try, especially if you're one of my students, you can always make that request. Thank you for watching and I urge you to subscribe if you wanna see more videos of what's going on in my science class this year. Have a great day, everybody.